Alright, it's time for uh, yet another episode of FTL, Faster Than Light. I'm glad you all can join us as we are coming off a new high score with the Stargazer. No huge surprise, the Crystal Cruiser is a very powerful ship, and we killed more ships than we ever had before, and we got a ton of scrap, even though we didn't have a scrap arm. But today's going to be another ship I haven't played before. I did a random roll and happened to land on the Rock B Cruiser which this will be my first time playing this. The f there's a few things to note about it. You get a heavy pierce laser, which I've never seen before. Um, like having their smaller burst laser counterparts, this modified purse pierces one shield. All right, so it's kind of like we're on a rock ship again. And then you get a firebomb. Oh, joy, a firebomb. Which, of course, sets things on fire get the same standard rock plating. You get four rock crew, which is a great benefit to start. Uh, there's a few things to note about this ship that I can tell already just by looking at it. I don't see any door control that you can buy. Or I don't see any door control starting out, and in fact you cannot vent air out of the ship, so if there's fires, you gotta have your guys on it, or I guess you could leave a breach in there and vent stuff that way. But it does make fighting borders a little harder too, so we may still get door control anyway, but let's go ahead and get this started. We're just going to call this the uh, Widow, because it's a black rock ship. Why not? So let's get our dudes in their respective places. Ever so slowly. Like I said, I'm curious to see how this ship's going to play out. And alright, so if I want to use a firebomb and a heavy pierce laser, I'm going to have to wait and upgrade my weapons a little bit because I don't actually start out with enough power to do so. So that could be 35 scrap worth using if I want to set things on fire. The heavy pierce laser is going to do me a lot of good at first. So there's a starting store that doesn't do me a lot of good. So we're just going to jump around and see how this run goes. Alright, a slug ship. That's taking out my shields. Too bad. I'm going to take them out here in just a second. And it's going to be a little interesting to play some of this. Oh, it's a two damage laser. Nice. It's going to be a little interesting to play some of this. Because I'm playing without a middle finger in my left hand because my cat decided to... Uh, Kind of open it like a zipper with the claw. Not doing so good in the uh, pet department, especially this week. So just a little more damage. Apparently we're not auto-firing right now, so I'm just going to be a clicker for the time being. Easy peasy. Yeah, I would love to take a boarding strategy with this and just send two rock crew over and set everything on fire. Okay, so broadcast, send an away party to investigate. You purchase signal you receive, and I knew we'd catch some federation with this thing that we're prepared to be boarded, scum. So here we go. We have no, no door control, so we are stuck fighting these guys on their terms, and they have a burst laser and a missile launcher. So we've really got to take them down. We're probably going to get at least one missile, but at least it didn't go to a vital system. It's actually faster than my heavy pierce, so that's unfortunate. No, it's not. Alright. So we just got to make sure our pilot doesn't die, which is going to be a bit of a close question. But they can't hurt me now, so... We'll definitely met up after this. So borders are going to be a challenge. And that could be a word door control is a worthwhile investment, but at least I do have a laser that shoots fast and pierces one shield. So it's an interesting little twist. That's med bay. Oh, I also start with level two oxygen. That's a Interesting bonus, I guess, to help vent air in the rooms that I can't open doors to. Because if there's a fire, it's going to spread quickly if I don't send people on it. 
Let's go ahead. Telek. Back over here in Ohm. You have no shield experience. So I'm really prioritizing taking down weapons. So next jump. And we get life forms on a nearby planet that can't be found in the database. It's six-legged horses. Let's communicate with them peacefully. And they don't know what I'm saying. So it's no my little pony friendship is magic time here. But we do get a Zoltan ship. Oh, and uh, some really bad timing with the beam drone. Because that drone's going to hurt a lot. Oh, this is not going to be a good jump. Right, screw this, we're taking another drone control. It's way more dangerous than there. No, oh, it's. That is one of the. Scariest Sector 1 loadouts I've seen in a while. Not taking that surrender, you just fucked up my ship. Pike beam and drunk beam drone. All over the place. Oh good, I'm on fire. So... Weapon guy, go put that out. It's good to be fire immune. Go die already. Wow, that's a lot of fires in my med bay. Okay, everybody jump around. Now we need our shield guy. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, jump, jump. My engine's on fire again. Great. So this is this is where it's good to not have sensors, I guess. Okay, more fires. Oh my gosh. Okay, pilot. So, my weapon room's on fire. Everything's on fire. My oxygen's on fire. Oh ho. Okay, oxygen fire, let's put that out first. Okay, so let's all work together, guys. Okay, is there anything that's not on fire? Okay. Now my weapon system's dead. Let's see, let's send you two down here, because the air's at... Oh, okay. So those beams, I swear, just got me. So everything is burning up to a crisp. And I may or may not get asteroid again. Because I don't have sensors, I can't necessarily see how everything's doing. We'll just start and see if my oxygen, if the lack of oxygen ends up helping. Maybe not. Okay, I gotta get sensors. This is too annoying to not be able to see what's on fire, even if it's my oxygen again. Ugh. This is firefighter simulation distant future. Okay, somebody has to repair that. What else is on fire? This is why we need door control. What else is on fire? Something's on fire. Okay, that's not on fire. There we go. Repair everything. And let's put some power in this oxygen. There we go. Oh, that was comedic, and something I'd rather not repeat, so let's go ahead and power our med bay when it comes back online, because the Lord knows we need repairs. Okay, where is everybody? You are weapons. Marlo, you're engines, and I think you're okay. Ohm, you're still shields. And, oh my god, we can jump out of here. We managed to survive that one. And we can go to the store. But I'm going to skip it. Because I think we can do better leveling up our shields early on. 
scrap. We're gonna scrap the station for some debris, cause I don't want. I really don't want my crew to die right now. And putting out one fire is gonna take that much. There's no reason to subject myself to that again. Okay, nope, not doing that. And I keep hearing fire sounds like part of my ship's on fire, so that's a little funny. Well, hey, the rest of my ship's gonna be on fire in a second. Let's go ahead and auto fire the weapon systems. Oh, this is gonna be irritating. And I have a dog who's trying to be irritating. Why are you doing this to me? Just walking up to me and whining. Oh my god, fire. Don't really need engines right now. Okay, let's not let everything burn down. One more solar flare, why not? Okay, where is it? Oh, in the sensor room again. When are our sensors not on fire? Okay, so we're doing pretty good in the scrap department. Jesus, that's a lot of burning. I gotta pause and take care of this. That situation's not resolved, so I'll just take another pause here in a little bit. But first thing is to get the hell out of Dodge. Let's actually jump up here. This gives me more options to probably run into something that's gonna kill me. Yep, let's kill you. While our systems are still on fire. Okay, we don't need our engine guy to be doing this right now. Because, well, hey, our oxygen's been missiled. What else is new? So to fix that, probably gonna take another missile and take. Oh, to my shields. Great. Just great. Just what I wanted. One more shot, at least, and you're dead. So 16 scrap and nothing in the station, as is always the case. So, as soon as we have the system repaired, we will have plenty of shields. And that should help us with our survivability, because Lord knows we need to not get beamed again and have fire go everywhere. I guess my next upgrade should be... I'd love to, like I said, I'd love to get a crew teleporter. Let's see, we've got some jumps before we have to go, so we'll go up here. Not paying that toll, come on, dude. And I'm glad suddenly that I got level two shields, because they're not going to be able to do too much to me unless they all fire at the same time. They will be able to do something to me, but thank god 20% hit chance. So Heavy Pierce do it again. Thank you. So, more firing. I am not accepting that for fuel. It doesn't look bad, but... 20 more seconds and they're gone. Yeah, you can level up my shields a little bit. That's fine. Don't want that, though. Unless it's an asynchronized shot, which is totally fine. So, more scrap for me. Let's hit this store. I may be able to swing something here. Door system for 60? Jesus. That's way too much. But we do get early long range scanners. I'm going to take that every time. We'll just repair up. Because I do not want stars exploding at me again. Okay, look, it's another trap. It's always a trap. Trust no one. So, missile's going to miss me for once. That's good news. 
but it's probably not going to miss me this time. Oh, wow. Okay. So suddenly we're just... Our one heavy piercing laser is doing a lot of work, and you're not going to be jumping anywhere in that condition. So maybe who of me to get a th another weapon power and sensors... Wow, they have some repairing really fast. But my rock plating made me resist hull damage, so... There's some power in that. So I'm happy with my long-range scanners. That's a great thing to get out of Jump 1, or Sector 1. And I get an anti-personnel drone. I'm not getting drone control, more than likely, unless that's what the game sort of dictates. Hmm. Manta Sector or Manta Sector? Hmm. That is a tough one. See, I guess the question is, do I want how many nebulas do I want to go through? And if I want to set things on fire, that's a lot of automated drones I'll have to deal with. So we'll just go to the northern Manta sector. Man, we're going to get boarded by people anyway. There's ships. See, there's a ship that I don't want to have it near. A star. See, we're doing all right. Yeah, you're not going to go anywhere on me. As much as I don't want to get missing. Wow, I'm getting that dodge chance up. That's very lucky. Famous last words, though. The rock plating is coming through this time, man. That's the whole damage I've just avoided. It's great. Because they keep hitting empty rooms, so they're not jumping anywhere now. So this is a good support weapon. For whatever comes next. It costs two energy, unlike the crystal equivalent, which is one energy, but... I'll still take it. But we're going to try and save up for... Okay, so... Particularly vicious. We're going to get warded by some people in a second. I don't think they can really hurt me, so... Unless it's a dual laser. So I am going to move my engine guy and my shield guy over here. And that should be enough. I mean, we're going to want door control eventually. That's 60 scrap that I prefer not to have to spend. Because, I mean, it's nice to at least isolate people, but it's not as vital as, say, others. Because it's not like I can vent air and then get these guys to move out. I'd have to pretty much use a whole weapon or a breach on my own. So one more shot should do it. They're not piercing me with that. Alright, two fuel and 23 scrap. That is good business. Like I said, if I can get an early transporter, that'd be fantastic, but it's not a requirement. Okay, attack the ship. Okay, now that's interesting. That's also interesting. Please attack me in my med bay. That was very generous of you, AI. I really appreciate it. But I do want to take down that weapon system first. Oh wow, they're actually hitting that guy really hard. Yeah, you're not beaming me with that. So that was a lucky break for them to transport into my med bay. I guess they're hoping they can take it out, I don't know. Good, I breached their weapon room. Just in time for who knows what, probably death and destruction. Raining down in the form of a heavy pierce laser. Always makes me think of Pierce Hawthorne from Community, and I don't know why, but they exploded. 
So we're rolling in scrap. We're just gonna hit this ship anyway. I don't like these blank jumps because it's probably our good friend the Mantis waiting to board me somewhere, but not a lot I can do other than hope that they don't. Good. Take down that stuff. So another shot. So far, after some early fire hiccups, getting some good fortune in these fights, I'll take it. Really nice to have this much going on this early. So I have a hundred scrap. I feel like I should start to use a little bit of it, so we're gonna... Let's see here. We'll up our sensors. First. Like I said, I just want to really be... Well, let me make sure that I... Once I have the ability to get a transport... Well, I can sell that. What am I saying? I'll start with sensors. That way I can see what's going on on the other ship. Nowhere to better aim, especially if I'm going to start using fire weapons. So we're going to lay low. Ray, wuss. Okay, let's not go to the beacon without a ship near a star, that usually means a four-person boarding party. Instant death. Okay, so the battle must have been recent. Let's find crew member beams aboard. That's not one crew member, that's three crew members. And that's you going after my cockpit. Great. Maybe I should level up my med bay just for this. Because they're probably going to hurt me. Run, you fool. Yeah, they're probably going to take out my comm. That's alright, that's just one damage. It's better than losing crew. There's the situation. And when I just say situation, I do mean the dog yelling at me that I was referring to before. So there's my pilot, or my cockpit. And my guys are just running right by. Good job. But I am going to win this fight at least. Which is probably a little bit of a closer call than I'd like. And unfortunately, you don't get any rewards for that. Let's see here. Marcus, you're good. Go to weapons. And you two repair the cockpit. You know, maybe an anti-personnel drone would be more useful on this boat than some others, because I have to pull off so much crew just go places, but we'll see. So we get our crew teleporter. We could get drone control. I don't... Like I said, you all have much better times than I do with defense drones. I mean, I've had enough video here of, def of defense drones failing them. It doesn't even really tempt me down there. But the crew teleporter will go with our fire, burn, burn, burn strategy. So we'll get as much fuel as we can, and let's go ahead and prepare. So there's our teleporter. And there's another store that doesn't give us a lot. Since we have one scrap, we're just going to move on. Alright, prepare for our fights. So we're going to take out their weapons, see if we can take out... Hmm, you're going to try and take out my sensors? Okay. I feel like I've played this game before. Okay, 
As long as that missile doesn't do too much damage to me. As long as I don't let my crew member freaking die. Okay, I must have missed them or something. I don't want zero evade on my missiles. Oh my gosh. I just about lost a dude. I just about lost two dudes. Alright, well I have two mantis running around my ship. That sucks, because there's another missile coming that could kill my rock guy. No, it just hit my shields. So I am missing non-stop with a pierce laser. That's how many misses now. And now they're going for the shields. Finally. Damn it. Okay, you guys are on fire. So hard. Oh, you all really apparently do not like my shields. And this is where I do need another weapon energy. Because I really don't want them taking out my shields. If I can avoid it, but they just did. Come on. So that's good. Except I'm about to get missiled again. This is really, really annoying. Good, now I have no air. So... That's fine. Why don't we just all catch on fire? I wonder if I can target my own ship. I can. Ugh. So where are they now? They're gonna keep attacking me. That's right, go for the weapons. Whatever. Ugh. No, they went for my teleporter first. Great. No, we'll, we'll save the fight for another time. Or the boarding. The people going on our ship is just a little... No. One second thought. I think I can do it. I want to send my... It's here. Not my weapon guy. I want to send you over. So, oh, I'm going to fix the sensors. I want to see what's on fire. As soon as you're healed, this should be repaired. Their transport's on fire, so that's good news. They can't seem to hit, but that's okay. It's all starting to run its on fire. What are we looking to kill? This is where having sensors would be great. So now we have a ship fire in here. Now let's go back in here. So at least... Okay, so they don't seem to care. They're just running now. There we go, no more remaining life signs, and I auto-fire wasted a bomb, so I'll have to be mindful of that. So their ship's really on fire. Oh. So, Mantis ship is not... Mantis sector, not great for the strategy. But... We're down some missiles, but it could be worse. It could always be worse. That's like the subtitle for FTL, pretty much. So we actually do want to get more weapon power when we get a chance. I'd like to have the heavy pierce to support there, so I'm not in a situation of having to pick and choose, and then bam, my sensors get missiled immediately. Okay, so where are we all going? Go there, home, you're where you're supposed to be. Mara, back to your station. Okay, we're gonna go for the distress beacon first. Okay, can you lead us to our destination? We get one of the next sector, so let's go ahead and up that baby. 
we may be able to squeeze in two more ship fights. Except I should have switched to the heavy pierce right away. Prepare for battle. Durr. Okay, they can't hurt me. They can't hurt me with their setup, so we are actually going to see if we can disable them and set things on fire. Great. That's just where I wanted you to land, somehow. My guys could just respond a little faster. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose home, aren't I? Oh, get out of there. Go heal, I gotta micromanage a lot better. You're at four health. Okay, so that's a good place to start a fire. Okay, good, so they transport it back up. Okay, Marcus, you're a weapon guy, so. I want you down there, and we're going to set things on fire. And Mara, as soon as you heal, we're going to be ready to kill. <sighs> Setting Mantis on fire is what I like to do. Do not forget this, prepare to retreat. You all are not retreating anywhere. Come on, guys, get real. Let's not do that. Let's take it out of this system. Okay, we're going to port to their medbay. Go for that achievement. Ah, oh, he's going to run, that sneaky bastard. We'll run through the fire, whatever. You would rather die in a fire. Wow, that's that's lame. So it's like you don't want to fight me in the burning room. I'll have to work on that. So you must be the pilot. So we do I assume we got scraps for that, I'm pretty sure we did. Nope. Looks like we're just not getting connected to sectors like we want to be, so... Or the station, look for survivors. Why not? Damn it! Lost my pilot. I shouldn't have why not at that. My crew's way too valuable. And now I'm in a fucking bad position. Pardon the language. That was an awful choice. I shouldn't have tried my luck there. I should have done only. I should have only done that if I had level two med bay. A uh, rebel controlled or civil sector. Let's go with the rebel controlled. Why not? I've already lost a crew member. Maybe I'll jump into some slavers or something. I don't know. Maybe that quest will have something good for me. I don't know. Very gener generous return. Oh my god. Okay. Um, this is what we call very, very bad. And we're going to have to be very aggressive here. Because we're just going to have to set your asses on fire. We're probably going to get missiled in a very valuable system. Like my engines. So, firebomb there. Oh, crap. I can't penetrate their shields now, so... That doesn't leave many choices. Oh, great. Now that our weapon system's on fire. We're really in trouble. Switch that shit around. While it lasts, if it lasts... That sucks.
No, don't die, weapon systems. Oh, this is so frustrating. Oh, this is a... I'm starting to really not like this ship. If I had a fourth crew member, I think I'd be in a much better shape, but... Oh my god, I'm gonna get missile to death at this rate. Okay, I have no air. Wow. And you have... and you just breached it. Well... At least that'll put out the fire itself, so... Well, that's right, I'm not dodging anything. So of course I'm getting missiles all the time. Okay, um... Oh, damn it, that was like five ways of doing it wrong. All in one go. And I have no engines, so what am I bothering with that for? Okay... I can't jump. I've got to repair. I'm a sitting duck. My guys are getting fired upon. Okay, so I'm running out of air. Oh, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. You're not gonna die. Okay. So let's send you guys into repair. How many more missiles can I eat? On oxygen system. On oxygen system. I have nothing else to power right now. I might as well power it. Okay, fire back to firebombing. The shit out of things. Even though I can't see what my fire bombs are doing, I'm gonna assume they're doing something. Oh, we're gonna need you on the pilot here, stat. So I'm about to get missing yet again. Probably in another system, it's gonna catch on fire. Okay, it's boarding time. Screw this. I have no other options at this point. Good. You all can just catch on fire, I don't care. So, just the pilot? Come on, chase me down. Chase me into the fire. Wow, you, all, you really don't want to fight me in the fire, do you? So, how are you supposed to get that first achievement again? Because it's kill somebody while the ship's on fire in the fire. Like I said, that was, that was super irritating. I need another crew member, and I need another crew member now. So... Let's go ahead so we can actually have things powered up. This is a bizarre run. Ugh. You can see why you start with four things now. I'm so used to having doors. Just anything to impede their movement. That 80 scrap just to do something when I can't vent air and force them into the med bay. Alright. You know, if I had an event where I wasn't immediately getting boarded, that would be fantastic. I can dare to dream. Okay. Okay, so they have an anti-personnel drone that's going to be impervious to fire... So we're obviously trying to burn down their shield room first. They don't have a system repair drone. Okay. Maybe this time I'll hit. Yes, there we go. You know what? Screw this. We're boarding you now. I don't want you to put out that fire. 
and said, I don't want you to put out that fire. Fight me. Okay, their drone control's on fire. So it's only a matter of time before they can't stop me. I should really up my transporter level. Oh, you guys really don't want to burn, do you? Okay, so there are drones out. I'm probably getting missile again. Yep. So I'm at hull critical. Let's see if I can do it this way at least. My weapon system burn a little faster. I'd rather not get missiles again. Oh, fine, dandy. Let's just take down the shields. Okay, so that didn't count. Oh. Okay, so no more life signs. So at least I'm at the stage where I can board and kill things. So I guess as soon as the firebomb hits, we just board them and blast them, because... Lord knows the heavy pierce laser is not going to do crap for me. So let's up our transport just so we can get the hell out of Dodge. And I guess I'm upping my med bay next. This is a this is the game I expected to have with the Basilisk, except it's the slowest moving boarding team ever. Oh. And they're still on fire. That's beautiful. I mean, I'd love to have just something other than a one-shot pierce laser. Just some other weapon to support it to. Fire beams, or fire bombs, fine. If I can just hit once. That's all I need. That seems to be asking a lot, though. Okay, defend the outposts. Okay, so it's a missile boat, so we're going to actually shoot their med bay and try and, well, let's see here, I'm going to shoot their drone control. Well, that's great. That's just what I wanted. Well, hey, no, at least their drone control's on fire. So I can probably get away with bombing here. Yes, I can. So let's go ahead and board you. And you all actually can't hurt me right now, so let's start with the med bay. Because those weapons are not going to be synced. Got a hit. Got a hit. Good. Yes, please attack me here. That's fine. Yay! The outpost tells you pompous bastards did things. You know what? That actually works surprisingly. That was actually surprisingly effective. So let's up our med bay again. Our shield guy is now our pilot slash repair person. This is, a, this is frustrating. I guess the right word for it is just really different. I'm out of my comfort zone right now. But at least I don't have to worry about that and I can jump to the quest marker hopefully pretty quickly. Oh, well, I'm not boarding this one. In fact, we are just going to jump away from this guy, hopefully, before things get firing at me. Because I can't burn that auto scout, and I can't board him too... Well, I can't board him, but... Well, that's great. Was that two hull damage as well? I think so. That's a five-shot laser. Okay, repair.
Fuck, that is some good aim. Oh, we only need one right now. Oh, this could be it. Oh, wait, this is... We have one health remaining. I don't know if I'm going to be able to jump out in time. That's the fastest shooting five-shot laser ever. Miss. Gotta get out. Gotta get out. Do we do it? Go into the quest. There's no other place it's safe. Oh. Oh, I dodged four lasers with a jump and it. it's a trap. I am so dead. Oh. Oh, that's bad. And it's a boarding drone, so we are... In a way, because we can't repair now. That missile's gonna do it. Bye bye. <sighs> well, that was, needless to say, an interesting run. Very. I feel like I'm still learning that ship. Maybe I should have just focused on boarding and blasting from the start, but the weapon loadout feels like I need to get something more than I had by a later sector. But for now, I mean, that's the ball game. We get a new record for most repairs, amazingly. 26. That was... No doors is something that's no joke, but I hope you enjoyed it. That is... Fuck... Freaking crazy... Not a lot you can do. Sector 3. GG. See you next time.